Greetings, my friends, and thank you for joining us live here at the Union Grove Missionary Baptist Church. We're getting ready to go into a live worship experience, and I certainly want to thank you for joining us at this time. We are blessed to be viewed all over the country by thousands of individuals, and we thank God for this vehicle. We thank you for joining us on Facebook or Favorite Network, where many of our viewers are able to view the service. We know that sometimes you cannot make it to the event. We know that you cannot always be here, but we thank God for this avenue and this, uh, this vehicle by which you can see this program today. I want you to know that we are thankful and we are grateful for this worship experience that's going to take place. We have prepared for it. We have planned for it. We have prayed over it to make sure that things will work out well. And we are grateful again that you tuned in to join us in this live worship experience. I want you to consider sowing into this ministry, uh, sowing to what we're doing here uh, by giving to our secured online site. You know, so many souls are being blessed, so many souls are being renewed, so many souls are being changed by viewing us. And we want to continue this service. And we can do so if you could, if you were so into this ministry. Every time you sow into this ministry, a potential soul is being saved. Every time you sow into this ministry, a soul is being lifted and encouraged. You know, we thank God for this vehicle. We have so many people that are not able to come here, those that are sick, those that are homebound. Uh, those that are out of state and they're able to view our services and we thank God for the feedback. We thank God for the comment and we certainly would like to continue this service. So again, we have an online secured way of giving and we would certainly like for you to sow into this ministry. We do not uh, mishandle the funds. We use it for the right cause. We use it for the right purpose. We use it for the glory of God and we just want to continue this service. Again, I know that you're going to enjoy this service. I know that you're going to be blessed by it. I know that you're going to gain some insight from this service because we put a lot of energy we put a lot of planning. We put a lot of prayer behind this event. And we thank you for joining us here live at the Union Grove Missionary Baptist Church, where everybody knows your name. Again, thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, whatever time it is, for joining us. We thank you for being a part of this great ministry. And again, just consider, consider sowing into this great ministry. God bless you. We love you. And we love our church. This is where. Praise Him, oh, praise Him, oh, praise Him, oh, praise Him. Jesus, bless the Savior, oh, He's worthy to be praised, oh, glory. Come on, glory, mm, glory, glory, give him the glory, Jesus, bless his Savior, oh, he's worthy to be praised. same oh he's worthy he's worthy jesus is worthy he's worthy to be praised oh why don't you praise him in the morning in a new day in the evening, praise Him. Oh, Jesus, bless His Savior. Oh, He's worthy to be praised. From the rising, come on! From the rising of the sun until the going down the same oh he's worthy he's Jesus is worthy yeah yes he's worthy to be praised why don't you pray 
in the morning in the noon day in the evening oh yeah Jesus bless you Savior oh he's worthy to be prayed come on clap your hands this morning Come on, let's praise the Lord this morning because he's worthy to be praised, Lord God. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, the Lord God is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah! 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He's worthy. Hallelujah. Just want to praise you forever and ever and ever for all you done for me. Blessings and glory and honor, they are. Jesus for blessing me. Come on, everybody. Just want to praise you forever and ever and ever for all you've done for me. Jesus
We thank the Lord for blessing us this morning. For all the things he has done. The marvelous things the Lord has done. And they said blessings and glory. And honor. They all belong. Blessings and glory. And honor. They all blessings and glory and honor. They all thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Come on and give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. The Lord is truly worthy to be praised. Amen. Truly we give honor to the spirit of Christ. We give honor to the esteemed pastor of this great house, our pastor, Reverend Frederick Crawford. Amen. Come on and bless his lovely wife who stands with him and beside him. Amen. To our officials, our deacons. Amen. Amen to our motherboard, to our Union Grove Missionary Baptist Church. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. To all those who are here, amen. To you who are viewing and visiting with us at favornetwork.net, God bless you. We welcome all of you into our service, amen. And how many came expecting a miracle on today? It's one thing to come to church, but it's another thing coming and expecting God to move in your life. If you come to church just out of habit, you're in trouble. But if you come to church looking for God to move, looking for God to do something, he designs a word every week, week after week, day after day, and he designs that word so that it can move in your life. If you come expecting that word to do something in your life, God will bless you. Amen? Amen. Let us look to the Lord. Father, we come now to say thank you. Thank you for grace and mercy, Lord God. Thank you for what you have done, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for carrying us over from yesterday to this morning, Lord God. You watched over us as we slept and slumbered through the night, Lord God. You kept us, Lord God. Then, Lord God, early this morning, you touched us with your finger of love, Lord God. We understand and we realize that you could have closed it out last night, but you saw fit to give us one more chance, Lord God. Another chance to get it right, Lord God. And so we thank you on today, Lord God. We ask that you bless your service now, Lord God. We ask that you come into the midst now, Lord God. Have your way in this service, Lord God. Someone hurting, someone is broken, Lord God. Someone is looking for you, Lord God. Allow that word that you designed today to find them in their condition, Lord God. Bring them down the aisle asking what must they do to be saved. Bless every voice that's going to sing your songs, Lord God. Bless them now, Lord God. Have your way, Lord God, in the service now. Bless our visionary, Lord God. Look on our pastor now. Touch him from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Continue to give him vision to lead this here, your people. Have your way, have your way, have your way. In Jesus' name, God's children say, amen. Let us all stand. Going to be led in our congregational hymn by Professor Crawford. Amen. This month is Black History Celebration. We're going to sing this morning one of the traditional hymns, We Come This Far By Faith. I tried to do that first.
Come on and give our Professor Crawford a hand. Amen. Thank you, Professor Crawford. Uh, that song uh, took me back when I walked in Union Grove, which was a, a whole lot of years ago. Uh, that's the kind of song we uh, used to march in on. Am I right? We used to march in on that song. That was our tradition. And we had some heavy hitters where they used to march and sing, sing. And they were some serious singers back in those days. Amen. I miss those days. I miss those days. Amen. This time we're going to have our sister Brittany Westbury. Come, sister Brittany. Give her a hand as she come. It was our scripture, and then we're going to have a selection from this beautiful choir. Amen. Amen.
morning. How many have a testimony this morning? When you think about Jesus and all he has done for you, all you got to do is think about it. Just think about it. Just think about it. You in your right mind. That's a testimony. I noticed that some couldn't move because they were still looking at their circumstance. But if you look beyond your circumstance and realize that in spite of your circumstance and your situation, that God has seen you through it and is getting you past it and getting you over it, then and only then you will have that testimony that you can truly say that God has been with me has been with you and is able to deliver. Amen? amen? Amen and amen. This time we want to recognize all of our first time guests. If you are here for the first time, we ask that you stand so that we can recognize you on this morning. Amen. God bless you, beloved. God bless you. God bless you, beloved. God bless you all over the building. Amen. God bless you, beloved. Remain standing. On behalf of our pastor, Reverend Frederick Crawford, yes, remain standing. On behalf of our pastor, Reverend Frederick Crawford and the Union Grove Missionary Baptist Church, we thank you for coming and sharing with us on this morning. We ask that you come back at a later time that's convenient to you. And we know that you could have picked anywhere else, but you picked us on today. And you will not be upset by coming here and sharing with us. Amen. So after service, meet with our, uh, after, I'm sorry, after service, come down the aisle, shake our we would love to shake your hand and then fill out the cards that were given to you. And uh, our pastor will reach out to you with a gift. Thank you for coming and sharing with us. Amen. Is that all right? God bless you. Thank you. You have enhanced our services. We ask that any second time guests. Second time guests. You're here for the second time. God bless you, beloved. God bless you, beloved. Amen. You also, we thank you for coming and sharing with us again. And you have enhanced our services as well. And we ask that on the third time that you come, you will be inducted into the Union Grove Church of Fame. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you on today. At this time, we're going to have our sister Takara. No. Oh. Sister Julian Crawford come and give us our announcements. I'm sorry. Amen. Good morning. Giving on to God to Pastor Frederick Crawford, Lady Antoinette Crawford, Pastor Emeritus, Mother Annetta Crawford, the Deacon Board, the Mother's Board, and all officers, members, and guests. Our announcements for today, Sunday, February 28th, 2016. Today, after 11 a.m. service, there will be a church finance meeting. Friday, March 4th at 7.30 p.m., Union Grove's Youth and Young Adult Ministry presents I Am Royalty Joy Night. The theme is Send Judah First. Friday, March 11th and 18th is March Madness at the Grove. The Youth and Young Adult Ministry invite all to come out at 7.30 p.m. and be a part of their Armed for Battle and This Means War services. All are welcome to come dressed for battle, Army Fatigue. Saturday, March 12th, Pearl T Hills Scholarship banquet held at Eastwood Manor. Tickets are $80 per person. Pastor Lerone and Evangelist Jacqueline Crawford of Day Spring Baptist Church are being honored. Please see Superintendent Rachel Smith for tickets and for more information. Sen Sunday, March 20th, Palm Sunday at 11 a.m. Union Grove's deacons, trustees, and finance ministry will be celebrating their anniversary. The guest preacher will be Reverend David Garrett from Miami, Florida. Friday, March 25th at 7 p.m. is Union Grove's Thank God for Good Friday, and our Youth Mass Choir will be having their annual Good Friday Fish Fry. It will begin at 12 noon and end at 6.30 p.m. Sunday, March 27th at 6.30 a.m. will be our Easter Sunrise Prayer Breakfast. Please sign up in the back if you'd like to attend the prayer breakfast. And at 9.30 a.m. will be our Sunday School Easter program. We are excited to announce that we will 
We are forming an adult praise dance ministry. If you are 35 years and older and it is interested, please see our praise dance ministry director, Sister Allison McCormick. All who would like to be a servant of the Lord, please go downstairs and sign up on the servant board or see Sister Keisha Martin or Sister Vanessa Bell. A special thank you to all who brought in the delicious food uh, this past Friday night. Thank you all to who worked diligently serving and tidying up with sincere gratitude, Deacon Agnes Shivers. Will everyone celebrating a birthday this week please stand? Um, and that is the announcements for today. used to be so broken, lost, empty, a heart with no beat, a singer with no song to sing, so I know the feeling, the silence is deafening, but in your pain lies a blessing in a sweet and sour victory so keep walking 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 though it seems so far no matter who you are see there's one thing that I know life it can to me I know you're scared your heart's bleeding but what are you gonna do now I think it's time you break free and keep walking 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 though it seems so far no it doesn't really matter Try your eyes and the 
leave you so bitter, 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 bitter. But you must believe that it gets better. get better. Amen. Amen. Come on now. Amen. Amen. Things going to get better. Yes. Yes. Going to get better. Yes. 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 Amen. That was beautiful. Yes. That was beautiful. The song says it's going to hold on. A change is coming. Right. And we know right. a change is coming. Not only in the world, but right here in Union Grove, a change is coming. A change is coming. Some people like to cry Some people 
you would like to run away from that pain inside. But that's your business. You can do what you want to do. But if you ever in doubt, yeah, hear what you ought to do now. Oh, God. A change is coming. Let the people of God say amen. Let the people of God say amen again. We greet you this morning in the only name that matters, the name of Jesus. To our worship leader, our minister Lionels, and to all of our ministers of the gospel, certainly to our leading lady Crawford, 
to our deacon ministry, to our mother ministry, to all of you, my father's children. It is good to be here in the house of the Lord one more time and again. God has certainly been good to us and he is worthy to be praised. We certainly want to thank those who are watching us live at this time from Favor Network. We thank God for them tuning in at this hour. I want everyone at this time to please prepare themselves for a tithes and offering. We ask that you'll take a few moments. If God has certainly blessed you as he has done, please take a few moments to fill out your envelopes as we honor God in our giving. And also at the 11 o'clock hour, we'll be standing for those who will be standing with me for Can I Find 10? And we hope and pray that if you have not signed up yet, that you will see us the Karen two time after the 8 o'clock service and sign up. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. I am the Reverend Frederick Crawford, Senior Pastor of the Union Road Missionary Baptist Church. And I want to thank you for joining us today through Favor Network. At this time, it is our offering time, and we are blessed to be doing so many wonderful things here in this ministry. And I want you to know, my brothers and sisters, I am first of all grateful for you tuning in today, but I also want to appeal to you to sow into this ministry. Before you think about sowing into this ministry, I want you to know that when you sow into this ministry, you are sowing on good grounds. Our ground is covering a lot of territory. We're reaching far and near to help those in need, those who are hurting, those who are suffering, not only here in the Bronx and New York area, but we are spreading far and wide. We are reaching even overseas um, to help ministries in foreign countries. And we thank God for the seed that have already been sown in this ground. But we also want you to consider sowing into this ministry. At this time, we are lifting an offering here at Union Road Missionary Baptist Church family. And I want you to be a part of what we're doing at this present time. I want you to know that when you sow, you are sowing on good ground. This ground was fertilized by Dr. Jeremiah Crawford and then it was cultivated by Reverend Dr. Fletcher Crawford and now I'm toiling here trying to do ministry at a higher and greater level and it's all because of supporters and generosity uh, like you. And so I encourage you at this time to sow into this ministry. I want you to know that when you sow into this ministry, God gives you more than what you plan. Again, I want you to know that when you sow into this ministry, God gives you more than what you plan. Would you take a moment to let me pray for you and consider sowing into this ministry? Father God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you for each and every one who are viewing us at this time. I pray that you would touch their heart, that they will sow into this ministry and that you will give them a great harvest in, in harvest season. I thank you, God, for what you've already done in this ministry and the favor you have shown upon this place. And now, God, I pray that you will touch every heart that's viewing us live here at this service, here at Union Grove Missionary Baptist Church. I thank you for their hearts and thank you for their generosity. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you so much. And I trust that I'll hear from you real soon. Dancing, Mother Coleman. Amen. Even Sister Ruby was up there dancing. Amen. So I know that you had a great time. So Alice, God bless you all. Amen. You all went out and did your things. Amen. The fact that you made it here today lets me know that you didn't hurt yourself. Amen. 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 So we're grateful to God um, for the service. And we, we understood there were some great tributes and some great things that took place on Friday. And we was honored to hear that um, concerning our Black History program. And then on yesterday, the Soul Converters had a Black History program at Eastwood Manor. And we had a time up in that place. I want to thank all those that supported the Soul Converters. Our Deacon Patrick Crawford and our Deacon Cherry um, was the MCs. And our Deacon Patrick Crawford uh, made some announcements. Amen. One Sunday, I'm going to let him make the announcements here. Amen. He made some announcements on yesterday. And Lady Crawford was riding back. She said, I'm going to tap those announcements. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But we had a good time. Amen. Hey, we had a good time. And the Swanee Quartet, them gentlemen from uh, Augusta, Georgia, amen, they blew the house down. Amen. We had a time a time up in there. And we thank, uh, again, all those that supported um, the Soul Converters on this past Saturday on yesterday. We thank you so much. Uh, we are asking that after the, 8, the 11 o'clock service that you will stay over. We will have our financial report after the 11 o'clock service. Those of you that are interested and knowing what's going on here at the church, you have an opportunity to hear the financial report given after the 11 o'clock service. And again, we just want to say to all of our first-time guests, we thank you for being with us this morning. Amen. We praise God for you. We prepared ourselves, and we plan for you to be here, and we are honored that you came to share with us um, here today. And I want to thank those that danced. Amen. 
Amen. Praise God for them. Amen. Thank God for them. We are, we are excited about our choirs. Amen. Who rendered our musical selection. Sister Celine, thank you so much. And all of our musicians, we thank you so much. At this time, we're going to ask our trustees to come forward. Amen. And lift our offering. At this time, we thank God again for all those who are here this morning. We ask our Dick Patrick to assist us. Amen. In, in our part of giving. And we know that you cannot be God-given no matter how hard you try. The more you give, the more God gives it back to you. We also want to encourage those from Favor Network. You have an opportunity to also bless God in giving. Amen. There's a, a button on there that says donate or donation. And you can certainly donate to this ministry here today. Amen. We're going to ask Minister Love to please bless the offering at this time. Minister Love, come and bless the offering. Good morning, Lord Jesus. Thank you for this day. Heavenly Father, thanks for your portion that you have presented to us. And thank you for the privilege to be able to present it back to you. For that there will be meat in your storehouse. Heavenly Father, with the divine spirit that dwells in this place, we say thank you and amen.
was. Yes, he was. He said, lay your hand. Lay your hand. Lay your hand on me. words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer, I thank you, I praise you, I magnify your name, for you alone is worthy to be praised. I thank you for your son Jesus Christ who died on the cross for my sins and got up three days later with all power in his hand. Thank you for the Holy Ghost that takes up residence in the hearts of every believer. Certainly thank you, God, for this worship experience. Thank you for those who have come far and near to be in your presence, O oh God. Now I ask that you speak to my mind, my heart, and my spirit. Allow me to say only those things that bring honor and glory to your name. Place, place a fresh anointing upon me that makes this task easy. Thank you, O oh God, for what you have done and what you're going to do. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Again, we thank God for each and every one of you who come to share with us in this service. I want to read a verse that I read last Sunday and then read um, some additional verses I didn't read last Sunday. Um, Philippians 2 and 7 from the King James translation simply state, but made himself of no reputation and took upon himself the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. Then Luke, the 17th chapter, the 7th through the 10th verse, simply says, But which of you, having a servant plow or feeding cattle, will say unto him by and by, When he has come from the field, go and sit down to me? And I will not rather say unto him, Make ready wherewith I may sup, may sup and girt thyself, and serve me. So I have eaten and drinken, and afterward thou shalt eat and drink. Does he think that the servant, because he did the things that were commanded him, I thought not? So likewise ye, when ye shall have done all those things which are commanded you, say, we are unprofitable servants. We have done that which was our duty to do. In the Good news translation, it says, suppose one of you has a servant who is plowing or looking, for the sh looking after the sheep. When it's come in from the field, do you tell him to hurry along and eat his meal? Of course not. Instead, you say to him, get my supper ready, then put on your apron and wait on me while I eat and drink. After that, you may have your meal. The servant does not deserve thanks for obeying orders, does he? 
It is the same with you. When you have done all you have been told to do, say, we are ordinary servants. We have only done our duty. Again, I want to talk about serving God's way. Amen. Serving God's way. We talked about it last Sunday. I want to continue on today encouraging us to serve God's way. Again, as I begin to put this sermon together for last Sunday, I was inspired and encouraged by the service that took place the week before. I had preached at a church, and the chairman of the deacon board, as he got up, he stated with pride and excited that the church now was open seven days a week and is able to do so because of the volunteers that many of the members have volunteered their service to the point where they now could open their church doors seven days a week. I left there on my way to Florida thinking about that and saying to myself, that's good. And I was designing and preparing a sermon to encourage our volunteers to work and to get more involved in the work of ministry. However, in my studies and in my investigation, God turned it around and flipped me upside down in my reading and in my study and in my devotion because nowhere in the Bible did I see the word volunteer. I was disturbed. I was troubled. I was bothered by the fact that God does not go around recruiting volunteers, but he goes around looking for a servant, and the actual word is slaves. My brothers and sisters, God is looking for those that will obey him. I looked at this text, I looked at it again, and understood that those that volunteer only give up their spare time or time they can afford to give away. However, those that's in servanthood, those that are slave, are entrusted to the master. They are lent unto the master. They are obligated to the master. They are not to themselves, but unto the master. They are under orders from the master. And then I told you last week that you are going to serve somebody. Paul told us in Romans 6 that we either serve sin or we serve righteousness. My brothers and sisters, you're going to serve somebody. You either serve sin or you're going to serve righteousness. And Paul made it very clear that if you have been crucified with Christ, you have been free from your sins. If you've been crucified from Christ, you have been freed from your sin. And we ought to get excited about that. But the verse goes on in verse 18 and tell us that we have become servants to righteousness. My brothers and my sisters, when you've been freed from sin, you no longer do the things that you used to do. And when you are slave to righteousness, you are doing right things. And then as I begin to study about this, because, you know, I worked hard at trying to get people to volunteer and organization really survive and thrive on volunteer. They work hard in getting and recruiting and trying to get people to volunteer. But God got on me uh, last week and told me that we are not looking for volunteer. We are looking for servants. We are looking for people that will make the sacrifice and serve me. Because God paid the price. We are slaves because God himself paid the price. He died on Calvary Cross to redeem us from sin unto righteousness. And then when I read this text, it turned me around again because here Jesus gives us an illustration of a master-servant relationship. He says that if I would have a servant working in the field all day long and he comes in the house, would I ask him to sit down and let me serve him? No. Instead, even though he has worked all day long, I would tell the servant, uh, prepare for me my meal uh, and serve me. And when you're finished serving me, then you go ahead and sit down and enjoy your meal. Uh, and then the crucial part to the text is this. He says, 
does the servant deserve thanks? Uh, should I say thank you to the servant? He says, no, the servant only done what he was told to do. Uh, and then that got me a little further because God challenged me and said that we spend too much time praising people. Uh, we spend too much time thanking people who are only doing what they're supposed. Come on here, somebody. What they're supposed to do. Uh, uh, Sometimes I get a hundred notes to the pulpit. You forgot to thank this one. You forgot to thank that one. You didn't recognize that one. You didn't call this one name. I'm not supposed to call names. They're only doing what they were supposed to do. Uh, and if you're doing it to get your name called, uh, if you're doing it to get a certificate, or if you're doing it to get a pat on the back, you're doing it in vain. Uh, you're supposed to be serving the Lord. Uh, you're supposed to be working for the master. And then my brothers and sisters, who are we supposed to be serving? We're supposed to, first of all, be su supposed to be serving our guests. It is our duty to make our guests comfortable. This ain't your seat. This ain't your place. You are here to serve. Come on here, somebody. Serve the guests. Uh, your job is to put on an apron, uh, roll up your sleeve, uh, and assist somebody. Uh, I heard the songwriter say, if I can help somebody as I travel along the way, then my living shall not be in vain. It's disturbing, it's troubling, it's bothersome uh, that there are only people that only work when they're getting paid. Uh, my brothers and my sisters, Jesus make it clear that the servant did what he was opposed to do. And then it says we ought to call ourselves unprofitable servants. Uh, and when you look it up in the Greek, what it simply says, we don't deserve any praise uh, or God does not owe us anything uh, in other words when you're working for the God that I serve uh, you're supposed to do it uh, and God doesn't deserve to give you anything uh, but I'm here to tell you today uh, that we serve a great master uh, we serve a great God uh, that even though we don't deserve it uh, he still woke us up this morning uh, even though we didn't deserve it uh, he still put food uh, on our table uh, even though we didn't start deserve it uh, he put clapping in our hand uh, he put running uh, in our feet uh, I didn't deserve it uh, but thank God uh, he's a good God uh, is anybody here today uh, know the God that I'm talking about uh, the God that I'm talking about uh, he's David God uh, and David couldn't be here uh, but David told me to tell you uh, that the Lord is uh, my shepherd uh, I shall not want uh, my God God uh, is a good God. Uh, my God uh, will fight your battles uh, if you stand still. Uh, God told Moses, uh, stand still uh, and see the salvation uh, of the Lord. Uh, I don't deserve it, uh, but God is good. Uh, I heard Campbell say uh, he's super mm -mm, good, uh, but my God uh, is mm -mm, good. Uh, my God uh, is better than Campbell's soup. Uh, my God uh, is better than Coca-Cola uh, because he's the real thing. Uh, have I got a witness? Uh, he's better than Pepsi. Uh, he's the real thing. Uh, you got the right one, baby, uh, when you serve God. Uh, have I got a witness? Uh, you're, only, uh, you're only a slave. Uh, you're only a servant. Uh, stop looking around. Uh, trying to see what you can get from God. Uh, you see a slave. Uh, a slave. Uh, go to the master uh, and said, master. Uh, what do you want me to do? Uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, when you get down on your knees, uh, you ought to ask the Lord, uh, what do you want me to do? Uh, and if you ask the Lord, uh, he'll find something uh, for you to do. Uh, I hear people say, uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, well, get on your knees. Uh, talk to God. Uh, God can. Uh, God will uh, tell you what to do. Uh, is anybody here uh, glad they got a God uh, that loves them? Uh, my God, uh, my master, uh, my Lord, uh, he walks with me. Uh, he talks with me. Uh, he tells me.
tells me I'm his own. I'm looking for the day that we will become servants of God to the point we don't look for anything in return. Whatever we do for God, we're supposed to do it. He doesn't have to give us anything. He doesn't have to do anything. But he's so good. He does it anyhow. That's why I serve him. Because he's good. And God himself came down, stripped himself of his royalty, put on the apron and served. And then he encouraged the disciples to do the same. He encouraged disciples to do the same. My brother says we don't want to hum humble ourselves and serve one another. But that's how God did it. And God showed us a way that if you really want to get into the kingdom of God, you've got to be a servant first. He that expects to be great in the kingdom must first be a servant. So many people run for the title. And I always tell people, title's not going to save you. I don't care what title you have, it's not going to get you into heaven. There are titles that say bishop, well, bishops are going to hell. There's titles that say pastors, pastors are going to hell. There's titles that say deacons, deacons are going to hell. So why are you running for the title? The one that's going to heaven, that one that says good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. Coming up a little higher, I'll make you ruler over many. I'm not here to please anybody. I'm only doing what I was supposed to do. God told me to preach. That's what I'm going to do. And my brothers, I tell people all the time, you don't have to pay me to preach. I'm going to do it anyhow. Because that's what he told me to do. And whatever God tells you to do, don't let nobody stop you. That's why I appreciate tracing them dancing today. Amen. So many times there were some roadblocks. I said, don't worry about it. You dance. 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 If you're dancing for people to applaud you, then you don't need to dance. But if you got it in your heart, and she had it in her heart, I said, dance. That's what it's all about. People try to hinder you from doing what God told you to do. I don't know what God told you to do. But if he told you to do it, then you ought to do it. Because I've lived long enough to know what happens when you don't do what God tells you to do. Amen. I'm a product of that. I'll be the first one to testify that when you don't do what God tells you to do, he will get you. And you will pay for it. That's why people can't stop me from praising God when I come to church. Oh, you're making too much noise. Well, you ain't heard nothing yet. I just warmed up. Amen. I'm going to praise him. And let me tell you something. I'm trying to close, but let me tell you something. A servant doesn't have to be dressed up to work. Mother told me, I wish she was here. Mother told me, every time you come to my house, you got on your, your shoes and got on your suit and, and it looked like you were doing ministry. She said, when you come to my house, I want you to come with your sneakers on, your jeans on, because when you come that way, I know you come to work. I said, Mother, you're right. That's why I dress this way. Amen. But when you're working for the Lord, you ought to come ready to work. And so when I come to church, I don't mind if my suit get sweaty or my suit split or get dirty. People say, oh, no, no, don't get dirty. That's why I brought this suit because I don't mind it getting dirty because I'm doing it to the Lord. Uh, my brother says, if you're wearing something that you don't want to get messed up, then you came to the wrong place uh, because when you worship God, you ought to give God your very best. Uh, there's nothing too good that I can't mess up. There's nothing too good that I can't split. Uh, if my suit ripped today, uh, it's all right. There, there's another store that got my suit, uh, but I've come to church. Uh, to give God my best. I've come to church to give God my praise. And I'm not going to let nobody hinder me uh, when I think of the goodness of Jesus uh, and all he's done for me. My soul cries out hallelujah. I thank God for saving me. Uh, you don't know uh, like I know uh, what the Lord uh, have done for me. Uh, he did it. Uh, God did it. Uh, you didn't do it. 
uh, but God did it. Uh, God did it. Uh, and I'm going to praise him uh, while I got my being. Uh, I'm going to praise him. Uh, I will bless the Lord uh, at all times. Uh, his praise uh, shall continually be uh, in my mouth. Uh, my soul uh, will boast in the Lord. Uh, the humble will hear thereof uh, and be glad. Uh, oh, uh, magnify the Lord with me uh, and let us exalt his name. Come on to praise him. Come on and praise him.
Amen. 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 What a mighty God we serve. There may be someone here today that wants to be a part of God's family. You're either a slave to sin or slave to righteousness. I prefer that you become a slave to righteousness. Surrender yourself to God today. Become a part of God's family. Amen. When you become God's property, he treats you mighty good. Amen. He treats you mighty good. Who wouldn't want to serve a God like that? And if you're here today want to be a part of God's family, I want you to come. Amen. I want to extend you an opportunity to be a part of God's family. Become a part of this church family. Amen. If you're here today. Amen. I know that's here. Amen. Make up your mind to come forward today. Amen. Let us all stand at this time as we ready to prepare ourselves for the benediction. And then I would like to shake all our first time guests' hand as we get ready to depart. If you, after the benediction, would you come and just come down the aisle and shake my hand as we prepare? First time ministry will come forward. Let the church. Let the church.